Good morning and welcome to the morning sip. Today's show is about the Jackson Film Festival and all the things that are really happening in the city that you may or may not know about as well as Mississippi. This is becoming shortly, you know, a film capital and we're going to talk about the people who are making sure that we become that the people who are working on these projects. We're also going to talk about Bell Collective a little later in the show and we're also going to show you probably some things you've never seen before. We are right here in Findren outside of the Capri talking about all the things this morning, including how they are working to to help people who are doing local films to be in the spotlight in our own community. So again, it's going to be a show that you don't want to miss. It's going to be a show that you're probably going to learn a lot about. So I would stay tuned if I were you and Jeremy. I'm going to try and get us in a film uh, coming up maybe in 23, maybe. Yeah. Oh, that, that's a great idea. We need to do it. We would be stars. All right, coming up, we're going to talk to one of the creators of the Jackson Film Festival. But before we go to break, how about a little bit of movie trivia? Right now we're here with Maximus Wright and the Jackson Film Festival is finally here. How do you feel now that it's been going on for this week? I don't actually know what day it is because <laughs> it's been one blur going all together, but I'm very happy. We're coming in for the grand finale and I'm very confident that everybody's going to have a great time tonight. So for the people who didn't get a chance to really get out to see the courses and the seminars mm -hmm. that you had, how can you basically just put it all into words? Amazing. We had some of the uh, some of the greatest people in the industry coming here. We had indus industry insiders. You know, Ashley Bowie started out the week, and some people may not know who she is, but Ashley is VP of Development for WeTV and All Black. Uh, she came in and said, "Look, I'm going to show you how to pitch your ideas to people like me, because I am the person that decides whether your show gets funded or get a development deal." And she walked everyone through that. Uh, she did a wonderful job. She brought in people like Carlos King, who is the executive producer of the Bell Collective here. And she also brought in people like Luke Burke, who won the Walter Cronkite Award, who was also the first journalist that was grant granted, granted access into Trayvon Martin's family's house after his death. So she also brought in different producers that are on the rise, and they were just sharing this, this information that was just life-changing for people who were saying, oh, I didn't know that's how that worked. I didn't know what a pitch deck was. I didn't know how to approach an executive producer because I'm from Mississippi. And she was like, no, that's no longer an excuse. You know me now. Mm -hmm. And I want to be a part of this festival and continue to build and bring opportunity here. We, she also signified that she may be bringing a production here based on her experiences being here in Mississippi. Uh, Tuesday, Deontay Wyatt, who is, uh, he's basically the head of casting for Tyler Perry Studios. I'm actually going to share his interview to this morning because I forgot to share it the other day. But he gave some of the best information on how do you really get on to, with Tyler Perry? What processes to go to? The do's and don'ts of what definitely not to do and what you should absolutely do to kind of get the eye of them. And then we have master classes on writing. This morning at 11.30, we have a master class with Tania Stewart on acting, and Palmer Williams is going to come in and guest, uh, be one of the guest teachers. And then tonight, we have the Black Tie Gala. So it, it has been a week dedicated to empowerment. Uh, the one thing that I'm trying to push is that we don't have to keep begging for a seat at the table. We have everything that we need to build our own table. All right, and listen, we're going to talk more about that table that is being built in Jackson, Mississippi right now. And, of course, you don't want to miss what's coming up after this. He did tell you about the B Boot Camp, and we're going to hear directly from the coach. Boot Camp and being a part of the Jackson Film Festival is a dream come true because I have always envisioned being just a small part of whatever it takes to get people who have less access and less exposure to the television and film industry what they need to thrive in it. I think that the boot camp that we're doing this week is essential for anyone who is looking for a way in, who is looking to get invited to the table and can't seem to find the invitation in their own mailbox, I have just opened the door for you to come sit down and eat. So I'm hoping that everyone's experience during this time with me, with some of the facilitators at the workshops has been more than fruitful, that they will leave here with greater and deeper insight into what it takes for them to be who they were always created to be, but feel bolder and more confident in being it. Today is also the season two premiere of Bell Collective. And you know, we had to catch up with the ladies to talk about what you can expect this season. Check it out.
Listen, the queen had to come home to sit on her throne. I am back in Jackson. I am so excited to be back home. And uh, I was a fan of season one. And so to be a part of this collective and this group of ladies, they are absolutely amazing. I really do open up a lot this season because it's been a year since we were last on. So we've had many things to happen throughout that year. We've grown. You're going to see a lot of growth this season. You're going to see a lot of that. So that's what I'm excited about as well. But yes, you will see my personal business this season. Being a boss in our career and trying to be a boss in our relationship, it takes a balance. So I'm just so excited for people to see, you know, this side of Jackson, you know, you got ladies doing their things, you know, just having that balance. We have so much in store. Of course, we have two new women that are on board, so they're bringing a little extra spice. Um, besides me and Zaddy dealing with the whole baby situation, him wanting a baby, I think that you guys are going to actually love Bell Collective this season, even more. I've been able to really walk in my purpose. I've been able to serve the community. I've been able to inspire people along the way, and that's that's what I've wanted to do. So Bell Collective has, it came in and put that extra stamp on it. So I'm very grateful for Bell Collective and the support that we've received. I'm back, <laughs> and you about to recognize, baby, because we about to turn up on this thing. The bells got done about to show up, show up, and they gonna show you why they call bosses and got done it by this being got done it. My wife so Gucci, Williams, y'all gonna find out why they call her so Gucci. All right, coming up after the break, we're going to talk more about the Jackson Film Fest. But earlier I asked you, did you know about these movies? So do you know about this movie premiering today? We're back with Mr. Wright and a full week of events, but now it's time to party tonight. Yes, yes it is. This is our Black Tie Awards game. This is the biggest fundraiser we have for the year because the proceeds from this help us do our outreach. You know, things like we did with the kids with the film camp, things like we did producing Kamari Brooks' first short film. I think that was the first time I met you. So that's why I'm very excited about this. But this is a night of Palmer Williams will be our host. Um, Shell B will be our virtual host. Uh, we also have music, uh, Dexter Allen is the MD. We also have a 70s versus the 90s music thing. We have a live band, also have a DJ, a great meal, a great program where we are giving all the winners their awards tonight and we're gonna do it our style. So, and after that, the DJ has the right to, we're gonna party into 10. So this is gonna be a wonderful night full of events and good food. All right, so when we think about just the Film Fest and everything that you've accomplished this week, you've had people come from Hong Kong bringing their, you know, their films to this. What do you hope it'll look like in the next two years? I, I am aggressively saying that I want to make this a South by Southwest here in Mississippi. You know, we want to make this a destination festival. And, you know, we're not going to just stop in films. We're going to really start getting into entertainment. You know, we, we have the greatest writers in the world. We have the greatest entertainers in the world. Why shouldn't we have the greatest filmmakers in the world? And why shouldn't we bring all of that together? But the one thing that we're going to be focused on that's a little different, this is where filmmaking and entrepreneurship meet. So technology meet. So we also had Corey Parson, Pearson. So technology, entrepreneurship, and filmmaking, that's our lane right there. Because what if we don't get those deals? If we don't get those deals, but if I can replace your income by doing what you want, isn't that a fair trade? So that's what we're trying to accomplish in the next five years, trying to get more really independent filmmakers and creating our own distribution system so we don't have to beg anyone for anything. Now, another thing that I think is really cool that's happening in our city and you know around Mississippi is that we're starting to screen our own films so we can see them at places like the Capri, the Alamo, right, you know, and even right. the Jackson Convention Complex, right, what right. you guys are doing. So should we continue that? Absolutely, absolutely, because Filmmaking, it's been made to feel like it's some mystic art, but it's not. It's show and business. It's just a business like anything else. It's, it's marketing, it's sales. And basically when we get our people to realize that this is not beyond them, that, hey, why not have a, a screening for a blockbuster film here? People will travel here. They travel everywhere else. Matter of fact, the food is better and the people are nicer. I know that's a word. And you know what? We're going to go to break on that because there's nothing else that needs to be said. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. 
All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this morning's morning sip on the Jackson Film Festival and learned a lot about the things that are happening in film and TV right here in our backyard. We hope you have a fantastic Friday. Remember, living local is next and be who you want to be as long as it's confident. Peace out.